Hi, I'm Elke Valovirta, and this one is about Bugrain and Digital's AmpNab BHD bundle, which is one knob versions of three different 5150s. Let's listen to a song first I wrote for this video inspired by those three plugins. So I feel myself while I played the left rhythm guitar and the left melody guitar. The right rhythm guitar which is partly harmonized and the right melody guitar which is fully harmonized in thirds I played after the, the filming. And I use all of these three plugins with the guitar. So the left guitar is the 5150 black letter, whatever it's called, 50 something, we'll get into that. The right guitar is 5153 and both melody guitars are with the 5152 or 6606 upwards cross <laughs> in the in the you know amp knob. Anyway, let's listen to the song first and then let's uh, take a deep dive into the mix of what I used there and uh, what I did in the in the mix to the guitars or did I do anything all right heavy metal Like I said, two rhythm guitars, panned hard left, hard right, amp knob on. On the left one, BHD with the pedal on, so you can switch pedal on or pedal off. I think this is kind of like two screamer, or, or at least the, it feels and sounds really close when I use my real black letter with a two screamer. All right, and then what else you have here? Let's go through these. I'm using now the matching cab, then you can choose no cab if you want to use a third party IR loader, or then you can load custom IRs, you know, what you have on your computer. There's a tuner, and then there's a noise gate, and so on. Really cool, simple, sounds and feels like a, like a 5150. The right rhythm guitar, like I said, is the 5153, and again the, the same things. I'm using the stock cap, that's it. Individual tracks, 
no EQ, the SSL drive is on 5, rhythm guitar, bass, the only thing I did, I added low cut at 50 hertz, high cut at 10.2, and yeah, sorry, multiband compressor, so I'm taming the low mix a little bit. That's it. <laughs> you know, these are kind of mi mix ready, ready stuff. Lead guitar, or the harmonic guitars, I used a, well, again, no EQ, no EQ, and I used this 6606 plus, which is 5152 or 6505 plus. Again, the standard cap that it comes with, nothing extra, pedal on, both. And then I used a, a compressor just to make the guitar, guitar melody stuff a little bit more even. 4 to 1 ratio, really basic, my lead guitar preset there. Okay, let's, let's listen the guitars first in solo. Oh yeah, so I blended in what I usually do, a little bit of uh, chorus dimension D and a little bit of uh, soft tube star one reverb, I said it as like a guitar room sound, kind of like a room microphone. So if I take those off... Just makes them a little bit bigger and wider. And to this uh, melody lead guitar bus, I'm blending in soft tubes, tape echoes. That's it, like I showed you. And there, there's the multiband compressor also, although you don't really need it because I played in the upper register. But it, to me, it clears the, the tone a little bit. It removes, in this case, just a tiny amount of some low mids. And, and the EQ was, well, now I had the low cut at 90 hertz and the high cut at, at uh, 10k and uh, that that was it the bass is bluegrass bass knob and uh soft tubes marshall murder one combined mainly it's the bass knob and just blended in the plexi marshall a little bit Like you hear, you know, if you play good, you sound good, then the amplifiers amplify your sound, it will sound good, even if it has only, well actually two knobs, the gain knob and the pedal knob and on-off knob. So that was the mix in all its simplicity. Obviously I have a little bit processing going on on my mix bus, there's pull tech EQ and bus compression and some analog drive, so it adds a tiny amount of lows and highs, but but not much, but uh, I didn't feel like doing any EQing except high and low cut for, for this mix, because they just uh, they just work. All right, now let me get my guitar and, and uh, I play with those a little, little bit so that you hear what I think, the, the playing feel and, and tweak the, the knob <laughs> a little bit. All right. So the guitar is one of my ESP Japan custom shops with MG8185 pickups. Then the signal goes to my pedal board, but there's nothing on because that's just the way I wrote it. Then it goes to through DI box to audio interface. 
and that's it. And on this one, I don't have anything. Everything is bypassed. No processing, nothing. So it's just the the, the plugin. And it, it sounds like this. This is the black letter one. <laughs> Sounds and feels like my original black letter from 92 boosted with two screamer. Let's take out without the pedal. I assume it's two screamer, at least it, it sounds. So it tightens the lows a little bit at some mids and highs. So it's probably dialed really close to what I have usually my two screamer in front of 5150. Level and tone almost maxed, drive barely open. <laughs> or not open at all. The gain control is a bit more tweakable than on at least on my block letter. When it's two, it's basically a lot of gain already then. This is actually a bit better, so there's more. You can dial the gain more precisely, because on the original one it's basically like on and off. Maybe they, they use the low input, low gain input one uh, with this one. It, it's pretty close to, to that. I, I use both when I play, sometimes high, sometimes low input. Okay. Cool, the feel is surprisingly close. I mean, this being a computer, relamp is also relamp, but uh, amazing job. Let's check out some other IRs. Uh, what do I have here? Let's choose my signature IR from Jens Lead and Clean Pack called Valo Virtuos. So you can see here. <laughs> it's a bit sharp, sharper, a bit tighter, maybe tiny amount of more, more mids. <laughs> fine too. Cool, all right, that's the 5150 black letter, then let's check out the 5152 or 6606, you know, downward cross. <laughs> Yeah, the feel is like on a 5152, this kind of, it's hard to describe. It's a, I don't know if you know the story, but uh, how this happened, it was an accident. So someone put a wrong whatever part to the input, you know, stage of the 5152 and Eddie liked it. And when he heard that it was an accident, he liked it even more. 
So the feel is kind of this almost like cornbread squash, kind of like overloading, like like when you record a real cab with mic, you really crank the the input gain so that you get a lot of kind of transformer thing. It it feels feels the the same playing with this one. And in and that makes the amp kind of, let's say, colder sounding a little bit. It suits really well for, I mean, down tuning. I have now this in drop, drop B flat. But yeah, it, it's like, uh, it's like, a, like, <laughs> like the real, real deal. And with the, with the pedal on. So let's try it with off. <laughs> Yeah, it's, I think it's a juice creeper in there, or emulated. Cool, all right, then let's check out the 5153. Uh, yeah, I had the two on. I was thinking that this doesn't feel like three. Yeah, this feels kind of fatter, warmer, more kind of even. Nicer, if you will. Whoops. Juice creamer does. It's really big and fat, but a little bit boo boo boo. But if we back up the gain, add a screamer or pedal, yeah, now. Conclusion. Great job as always from Jens and the Booker and Digital team. Having played with the and recorded many albums with the not not so much with the 5152, but with the Black Letter, my own, and with Jacob Hansen's Hansen Studios, the 5153. These are really feel-wise, kind of sound-wise, <laughs> surprisingly. Really good. Obviously, the feel isn't the same than playing with a real amp. You know, it's a big difference to drive a Ford Mustang GT, like real one, than to play a you know car simulator. But these are really good, and I, I've used these. Yes, yeah, well, I use the bass knob always, and I, I've done like proper commercial mixes, like albums, where I've I've uh, used on some tracks the. First amp knob, the what was based on the Mesa Rev C, I think. So these uh, are really good, good uh, devices and easy to use. This game, game has dial, a good sound. Kinda at least to me, that's the sound when I, you know, use a Wave Two Fifty. That, that's the sound and feel I want. This fat, low end, almost sub stuff, a bit scooped. I have Bullgrass affiliate link so you will get a 10% discount of all Bullgrain's products that are not on sale. So this, I'm 
by the time I'm filming this, this isn't out yet, but I'm pretty sure they have like an intro discount going on. But after that, you'll get a discount, 10% discount with my affiliate link in the description below. And, you know, now when it's, I think, in discount, because it's just been released, if you use my link, I will still get a small commission, which is much appreciated, helps me and my channel a lot. Strong recommendation, check these out, check the other Bluegrass stuff. I use those all the time on my YouTube videos and, you know, my main job as a mixing engineer, producer, guitar player, recording engineer. I, I, I use this in, in productions. Absolutely great stuff. Hey, hopefully you found this interesting and informative. Thanks for watching and see you on the next one. Bye.